Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. My name is Terrell. And my name is Brendan. And we are BNT Reacts. And today we are checking out My Teacher Murdered Someone. And this is by Let Me Explain Studios. Um, definitely interested to check this out. We've checked out Let Me Explain Studios once before um, with the crazy theater teacher. So now we're gonna, um, we're gonna, and this video was actually mentioned in another video about the, yeah. the teacher who murdered someone. Um, so, so why not the perfect um, time then spooky time, you know? Spooky season. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is gonna be interesting to see. I'm like, this is, I'm curious. Yeah. I'm like, what happened? Very curious. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe oh, button as well as that like button for us. But let's get right into it. Let's go. Right now, what the hell you doing? Know? level of stability in your educators. I think we're all entitled to that. There are bad teachers out there, but there is a huge difference between bad and seriously dangerous. Many of you may remember I mentioned my mentally unstable vindictive theater teacher in a previous video, and I may or may not devote an entire video to her later on, mm. but she was nothing compared to who this video is actually about. So for this story, I think we'll call him E, although I guess we could use his real name, considering he's, you know, dead. Uh -huh. eh, he might come back to haunt me. We'll stick with E. He was my communications teacher in college. His class was required for my business minor, so there was no getting out of it. So I arrived first day to this class and immediately, like I set one foot in the door and something about this guy just doesn't sit right with me. Just his general demeanor and, and mannerisms and the way he talked, it set off so many red flags. Weird fact about me, for years now, I've had deadly accurate intuition when it comes to bad people. For my entire life, I've never been wrong. If a serial killer in disguise walks into the room, I'm shamelessly baring my teeth and hissing like <laughs> Yeah, I'm good at that too. I'm good at, um... He was just setting like, off kind of getting all vibe. of the yeah. in my yeah. head. He I'm gave us the syllabus the first day, but I might as well have just torn it up right then but there not because I am he never followed it. And listening to him try nice to people. explain an assignment was like listening to Tom Cruise talk about Scientology. And when everyone showed up to class with their assignment completed, he would be furious that no one did it right, very often contradicting his own previous instructions. The smallest things would upset this guy. I was once handed back a test that had a nasty note written in the corner because he didn't like the pencil I used. And yet what the, the fuck? time, he would teach the class dressed as a pauper and drop cuss words and lewd topics into the lecture like it was nothing. Child. A lot of TMI and personal stuff too, like seriously dude, keep your love life to yourself. Uh -huh. And part of the problem with him being a bad communicator, despite being a communications teacher, he refused to stay after class to help anyone or answer any questions or clarify his nonsense, and then later would throw a fit about nobody asking for his help. His ego needed to be fed so badly that he would fish for compliments by constantly asking for feedback. Let me know what I'm doing right or wrong. Special emphasis on what I'm doing right. Because Shut God off. help the poor soul who offered him polite constructive criticism. I got so sick of this guy that I went to the head of the department and complained. Turns out, so did most of the class. Mm -hmm. When the head of the department approached him about it, he took it out on us the next class, saying we should have come oh, to God. him with our grievances. So, my big thing is complain about that guy too. came on the last day of school. One of these policies was, if you got a low grade on an assignment, you could correct it and turn it back in for a better grade. Oh. On the last day, he was handing back some of these assignments. He gave me back a paper I had corrected that was originally a B plus, but when he handed it to me, he said the grade had gone down to a C. Uh. Did you get that? The corrected assignment went down yeah, a grade. What's that about? I would be pissed. What's that about, baby? Yeah, I was kind of pissed. To the point that I asked this quad to <laughs> meet me in the hallway so we could discuss it. Oh, Matt, I love him. Come on outside so you can see these hands. Human logic for any functioning adult. That a paper that was more correct than the previous version should have a higher grade. Well, E started throwing out every excuse in the book, and I just kept debunking this idiocy over and over again with the same argument. Mm. Until finally, after like 15 minutes of talking and running around the issue, I had him backed into a corner. He started getting physically angry, making threatening gestures at me. I think the only reason he didn't touch me was because my friend Mary was sitting at a table in that hallway, mm. watching and listening to everything. And then it all just kind of caved. He said, Rebecca... I think I'm just gonna f quit teaching. Good. He basically had an emotional breakdown in front of me, almost started crying. It was very strange and embarrassing. <laughs> Several times I told him to calm down and take a breath. Admitting his defeat, he agreed to fix my grade, 
but then left class early right after that. Dang. His tail between his legs. Okay. Same day, I went back to the department head and told him what happened. Not like it did anything, because he taught for another two years at that school before leaving. Damn. So now, I bet a lot of you are wondering, well, what happened to E? And as you might have read by the title of this video, something not very nice. Ciao. Something very unfortunate, actually. About two years after I graduated, someone sent me a link on Facebook to a news article, and it was pretty shocking what I read. E had been teaching communications at a different university when he murdered someone in one state, fled to another state, and shot himself during a police standoff. Oh. Kind of hard for me to add anything more to that. I mean, a okay. man that my gut told me was dangerous ended up being dangerous. Though I will say it is a rather chilling notion that I was standing in a hallway poking a would-be murderer with a stick over a paper. And I do sometimes wonder how differently that situation would have turned out if I didn't have a witness. All right, explainers and entertainers, sorry for that downer of an ending, but that is the story of oh, the this her? that I've ever had. But if you have a funny bad... I guess, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what did you think of this video? Uh, yeah, I, it is a little... Um... It was a little chilling. I guess I know you never really think like, especially like I guess a teacher or professor like. Go oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I know. I guess like I like you never do think like, or like know what their life will hold. So I guess like being in that position of like, oh my teacher, like I like know someone that killed someone, and then yeah, that's like wild. that's like crazy. Um, but yeah, that teacher, no, not the vibe. I would have been very upset in that class. Um, especially if you, if I read, resubmit assignment and then you give me a lower grade, uh-uh. Yeah, I would have fair. been so angry. That's uh, uh, yeah, I'm the type where I would just keep going to the person. Um, I, would, I, would, I would keep going to the person above them and keep telling. I, I absolutely would. Every single day, like to the point where it would annoy them. Like, no, you gonna something gonna fucking happen because you ain't gonna fucking play with me in my grade. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at um like sniffing people out too and kind of um the, their vibe and everything. Um, but I, I keep everything to myself. I just kind of peep low key and I look at stuff. And I'm like, hmm, note it, you know, note it, note it. Um, but but yeah, um, this is not far fetched for me at all. Um, people are crazy. Um, and they be the people that you never think or suspect to be doing the craziest shit. So this is not far fetched for me at all. Um. Back when I was younger, maybe maybe it would be far fetched only because I would never think my teachers or anyone really I knew would do some shit like this. But as I get older, you know, it's just like, yeah, this people are fucking crazy. You gotta be careful who you're around, no matter where you at. Um, because people are fucking crazy. Even even these teachers out here. Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, sorry. Uh, that's all for this reaction. If you like, make sure you get a thumbs up. Make sure you also hit the subscribe button. What is going on with me today? <laughs> hey, comment down below what you thought about this reaction. And make sure to follow us on all of our social medias, uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Follow both of our separate channels. Make sure to check out our second channel and check out our Discord. Yeah, that would be trippy though. If I, like somebody, that would be trippy. Like if it happened in real time, I'd be like, oh shit. But like if it happened to somebody I knew in the past, like a teacher now, um, then I'll be more like, oh shit. Just because the younger version of myself could never imagine that happening. Yeah. You know? Um, but anyway, that's all for this reaction. That's out. <laughs> Bye. Bye.